Hello, I'm in Keswick, as you can see. So it's attempt number two today of the Coldale Horseshoe, which uh, if you saw my video last week, you'll know it didn't go too well. But we've got much better weather today. You can kind of see the sun maybe coming through the clouds a little bit. So fingers crossed for a much, much better attempt. So the Coldale Horseshoe, if you haven't watched my last video, it's a 10 mile horseshoe route in the Lake District. It's quite a popular one. It takes in a number of fells. Uh, the first one being Grisdale Pike, which is where I got stuck last time because it's notorious for being pretty windy up there. So it'd be nice to get past that today. Uh, I've got my friend Rachel joining me today who should be coming from that direction any point now. There she is. <laughs> What? Did you fall up the stairs? Yeah. Great. Just a good start to the day. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Rachel's going in her van and I am um, going in my car. Also today, I am testing out my new Garmin Instinct solar watch. As the name suggests, it's solar powered, which is um, incredible. At the moment it says it's got 24 days battery life remaining mental it has so many incredible features so disclaimer garmin sent me this they were very kind and um, they are sponsoring this video they also spent an hour with me on the phone teaching me how to use it which i'm very grateful for because i'm clearly technologically challenged <laughs> but yeah this watch i feel like it's going to be a bit of a game changer for me not only the battery life which um is going to make such a difference to me because on so many of my previous hikes long distance hikes or different challenges that i've done i've had to take a power bank um, charge my watch while it's been on my wrist while I'm walking which just is really not ideal when you're trying to focus on a challenge or a hike or whatever you're doing at the time. It has so many other features that I couldn't even begin to remember them let alone explain them so um, I'll do a bit of a summary at the end because today will be the first time I'm using the watch for like a full day hike and um, I think I'll really be able to, to experience it properly so it is 8 29 a.m and yeah we're gonna go do the Coldale Horseshoe. I just need to make sure Rachel hasn't driven off without me. up to Grisdale Pike and then all the way down into that valley and then up along these ridges until we come all the way back down. 10 miles so let's hope the cloud clears. Ever broken spectre at the same time. <laughs> we got very, very excited about it. That's um, the next big summit on our horseshoe. <laughs> nice. Very quiet up here. So peaceful. So it's half 12 now. We are three hours, 10 minutes in, three and a half miles, and we've done 2,579 foot of ascent. We've been fapping around a lot. 
on the way up just having fun and taking breaks and pictures and drone and yeah so uh we're falling a bit behind but we're gonna race down the rest of it oh my gosh So we are halfway through our hike, um, Bo, do you want to talk about the watch because it's honestly such a game changer. As you can see, I'm actually following my map from my watch. It's so nice not to have to take my phone out of my pocket constantly. It's also extremely scarily accurate in that when I'm like two meters off course, it beats me to tell me. And then I literally like move back onto the path and it says on course. Some other features which I think for hiking especially are incredible. It has a barometer, an altimeter and a compass built in. So if anything were to happen with your navigation, you've got a compass on your wrist. It has a barometer which tells you when there is a storm coming and it has an altimeter which is always nice to know what altitude you're at as well as the elevation gain and mine is currently 3036 feet. Hence why I'm huffing and puffing right now. <laughs> Some other great things, it tells you your heart rate, it tells you your stress rate, Mine should be at zero right now because I'm in my happy place. Also, you can find your exact coordinates at the click of a button. It's just a great safety feature, really. There are also a ton of other features which I can't even begin to remember, but that's the Garmin Instinct Solar. I'm in love with it. Drop me a message if you've got any other questions about it because it's not possible for me to remember all of the amazing features that it does while I'm trying to also breathe and climb a mountain. But, um, I'll also share a link to it in the description of this video and also you can find it on the Garmin website so check it out it's the Garmin Instinct Solar yay <laughs> what's this Craig Hill? Craig Hill Craig Hill this was a killer to get up to again just just breathtaking views views for days views for days Craig Hill made it to Sail Fell and uh, pretty much the only reason I wanted to do this horseshoe was for this squiggly path here. <laughs> so this is Sail. Has it been worth it for the path? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Play Sail on Sail. Sail, sail on Sail. Oh. golden hour at the top of Causey Pike. Look at that. Oh, it's just so nice up here. So we're just on the descent from Causey Pike, which is up there. We have been out for seven hours, <laughs> which is absolutely ridiculous, but we have just literally had the best day. It has been such an insanely amazing day up here with the weather conditions and the views. Um, we've just made the most of it and we've just uh, had fun and um, that's what it's all about but it does mean that the sun has just set and we didn't expect to be out here in the dark so we're kind of now racing the daylight to get back to our cars. We've done 7.8 miles so we've got probably a mile and a half back. We've done 3,872 foot of ascent. Our legs are very sore but we've honestly had just such an awesome day. We made it! <laughs> okay, so 8 hours and 12 minutes, 4,067 foot of ascent, and 10.6 miles. 
Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. High five. Let's go eat. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> I don't know. A Whatever a fracture is, that's I think it is. is. I think a fracture is a fracture. Yeah, it was. Oh, I just hit you. Oh, damn, Daniel! <laughs> yeah, do you want to do it again? Oh. Oh, I can be now, actually. Action! So. No, that was oh. it. Set. <laughs> so, nope. How many times did we need to do that? Five. <laughs> <laughs>